This Dexter Russell Cleaver. Do this on your Lansky. I don't think so. I'm putting a nice working edge on this Dexter Russell Cleaver with the Wicked Edge uh, Gen Pro 3. What did I just get done? This came sharp to me, but the edge was a little wonky. What I just did is I straightened it out and sharpened it. And now it's nice and sharp. It was sharp before when, I, when it was given to me. An Essie Rowan. Big giant bushcraft knife with micarta handles. Micarta or G10, one or the other. Had to be very careful because this is like 1095 or something non-stainless and then they put this coating on it and this coating is very durable but I had that much space so that you can't nick it up or anything like that I taped the entire knife so this was brought in for sharpening this was brought for sharpening that's a positive case and then this is next this is a Boker Stubby Strike Auto. It just was delivered from UPS to me literally five minutes ago. So we go from a cleaver to a giant Essie Bushcraft knife. And then now they say they put a little working edge on this. Well, I am going to put a wicked edge on it. This is an auto knife, California legal, auto. That's the difference between a Lansky or any of these little small sharpeners that are kind of limited. I mean, there's nothing against them, but the wicked edge can do multiple multiple different types of knives all in one shot and I'm loving my Gen 3 Pro from a 2 inch blade to about I don't know what is this one to a 6 inch blade to a butchered cleaver. That's what I do. And that's the reason I have this Wicked Edge here at Quality Knife Sharpening. Thanks for watching. Oh, and this one also has a little safety right there. D2 steel. D2 tool steel. Probably 1095 or something like that and the mystery dex steel <laughs> high carbon dex steel it handles it all